welcome to microprocessor and interfacing playlist here in this session i'll be going to explain examples on memory mapping and these are the examples which were there in previous year gate examinations so that is what we are delivered to solve in this session so let us have question first now see in this question 8 bit microprocessor has 16 bit address lines a0 to a15 with 1 KB memory chip as shown in figure. The addresses for chip is there in this combinations. So here four combinations are there. We are delivered to select correct combination. Now see when you have been given with this type of problem. This is the problem based on memory mapping where we are delivered to identify starting and ending address of given chip. So here chip 1k cross 8 that is given and that is there with address lines a0 to a9 and this is what we are connecting it with decoder 3 cross 8 decoder and fourth terminal of chip select that is what we are connecting it with this 1k cross 8 memory chip for chip select. So first of all we will be writing starting addresses and then we will see how we can have ending address right so let us write that first so a15 a14 a13 a12 a11 a10 a9 a8 a7 a6 a5 a4 a3 a2 a1 and a0 that is our address lines are there. Now what will be our starting address? So here for addressing purpose A0 to A9 lines that is connected. So this is what we are using it for addressing. Here this decoder that is been selected based on A10, A11 and A12. So this is what we are connecting it with decoder A10, A11 and A12 and chip select of decoder that has been justified by A13, A14 and A15. So we should know this basics first of all. So here let me mention this. This is what for addressing. This is for decoder and this is for chip select. Now here if you see initial address and last address of this RAM, so that has to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and final address that has to be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, right. Now, this decoder that will select this chip only if this four line is getting selected. So, to get fourth line is getting selected, this data that has to be 0, 0, 1. Then only this fourth line will get selected. Line is starting from 0 to 7. So to have 4 line is getting activated with this chip select of this RAM, this data should be 0, 0, 1. So here we should be having this data that has to be 0, 0, 1. So this should be 0, this should be 0 and this should be 1. Now all we need is we need to give chip select of this decoder and we should know this is active high chip select. So as it is active high chip select so this data should be 1. Now this is AND gate and to get 1 at output side of AND gate all input should be 1. So 15 should be 1, 14 should be 1 and 13 should be 1. Then only this chip will get selected. So A13, A14 and A15 that should be 1. So here this data should be 1, 1, 1 as you can see this NAND gate, AND gate that output should be 1. This is what active high chip select. So this is what our starting address and ending address for this RAM. So if you see the starting address, so that is 1, 1, 1, 1 means F, this is 0, 0, 0, this is even 0, 0, 0, 0. This is even 0, 0. So starting address is F, triple 0. 
ending address that is all ones means f this is 0 0 1 1 means 3 this is 1 1 1 1 means f and this is 1 1 1 1 1 means f so ultimately our correct answer is starting address is f triple 0 x and ending address is f3 ff x so our correct option is this c f000 x and f3 ff x let us have one more problem so it will be more clear see in this question in the circuit diagram device connected with v5 can have addresses in the range of a, B, C, D is been given. So, what is the correct range? That is what we are dealing with to identify here. So, to identify that here, this V5, that is what we are connecting it with memory. And here, if you observe, this is what 3 cross 8 decoder, and this V5 that should get activated. And for decoding, A, B, C terminals are there that is connected with A8, A9, and A. 10 and chip select so that is what we are connecting it with active low chip over here and that has to be based on a11 a12 a13 a14 and a15 so let us have a calculation step by step so it will be more clear now see we have total 16 address lines so let me mention it first a15 a14, A13, A12, A11, A10, A9, A8, A7, A6, A5, A4, A3, A2, A1 and A0. That is how addresses are there. Now here for chip select of decoder, we have connected A11 a12 a13 and a14 and a15 means this is what we are connecting it for chip select of decoder so this is what we are connecting it for chip select of decoder a8 a9 and a10 that is what we are connecting it with decoding so these three lines that is what we are connecting it with decoder and these are for addressing. Now, as I have told, for addressing, initial data should be 0, 0, 0, 0, like this. And final data that has to be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, see to select V5 terminal, this ABC data. A8, A9, A10 that has to be 101 to select V5 terminal. Terminal is starting from V0 to V7. So for 3 cross 8 decoder to select V5, this has to be 101. So this has to be 101. Then only V5 terminal will get selected. Now see here we have this NAND gate connection, right? And in NAND gate connection, if you provide 0 here, if you provide 0 here, 0 here, 1 here, 0 here, 1 here, in that case, you will be finding this will be active low signal. This will be active low signal means here you will be getting 0. So as if it is active low signal, then only this chip will get selected as G2B. So this data has to be from A15, it should be 00101. So here I need to mention that A15 should be 0, A14 should be 0, A13 should be 1, A12 should be 0 and A11 that should be 1. And that is where this chip is getting selected. So 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So that is how we can identify starting and ending address. So now let me mention that first. So 0, 0, 1, 0 means 2. 1, 1, 0, 1. 
so that will be 1 1 0 1 1 this one that is 8 plus 4 12 plus 1 13 so 13 is there with d so d this is 0 and this is even 0 so 0 d sorry 2 d 0 0 hex that is starting address this is 2 again 1 1 0 1 that is d again and this is f f hex so starting address is 0 d z, sorry 2 d 0 0 hex and ending address is 2 d f f hex so if you see options this is our correct option so i hope that you have understood this this is how we should be solving this type of problem of memory mapping in future even you will be finding some more examples which is the related gate examination so it will be more clear how we can use memory mapping examples for a better solution in simple way i hope that you understood this you can give your valuable suggestions definitely based on it in future i'll place videos thank you so much for watching this video